Hey Nintendo fans and collectors, Lithium here from my channel Nintendo Collecting, bringing you an unboxing video for the Microland Deluxe Pack for Acorn Plains. If you are unfamiliar with the term Acorn Plains, it's actually the first world in the game New Super Mario Bros. U for the Nintendo Wii U. So hopefully Nintendo will eventually give us every single world from that game. You can build your own set, which is pretty awesome. This is made by a company called Jax Pacific, and it is a, an official Nintendo licensed product. Again, just a little bit of a warning just to be safe. It is for ages three and up because there are some small parts involved with this little set. If you are searching for this, I found this one at Target. It was $17.99. I also found it at Toys R Us for $19.99, and I'm in Canada. But I did have a search online on eBay, and a lot of them are selling for over $30 already. So I thought I would pick one up now, sooner rather than later, because Nintendo products tend to increase in value, especially if you keep them in really good condition. So what is involved with this set? So it says Microland. Small World, Big Fun, Deluxe Pack, Acorn Plains. It says it includes five land pieces, so one, two, three, four, five. It includes one Microland figure, which in this case is Fire Mario, and four clipboard accessories, which are these four little guys right here. Looking at the box packaging really quickly, you just saw the front, the top, more of the same stuff. The sides have some cool Mario characters on there, like Luigi, Mario, a Yellow Toad, and Yoshi. The other side has a Koopa, a bob -omb, and a Goomba. The back gives you a lot more information about what this set can actually do and what it might look like in the end. It does tell you that you can piece them together, so there's an unlimited number of ways to display and to play with this set. I'm sure this would be great for kids, be great as a Christmas gift. There's not just Acorn Plains out right now, actually. There's Acorn Plains, and there's also Layer Cake Desert. This is all part of Series 1-1, which leads me to believe they might eventually come up with Series 1-2, and so on and so on, but we'll see. And if you're curious, this did come out in 2014, as it says right there. The bottom of the box just has some other information that looks very boring to me indeed, but again, it's made by Jax Pacific. So let's open this up. I really like this box packaging as a collector because it also allows you to display it really well and you can take items out and put them back in. So all there is is just one little piece of tape blocking that right there. So I kind of did some of the grunt work already because unboxing this was actually a little bit difficult with all the different accessories and pieces there were in, that had in, inside of it. So let's open this up and let's get to it. So there's the box, just leave it on the side. There is some plastic little pieces holding this together, so I had to undo those already to kind of take this out and kind of make this a little bit easier for ourselves. So let's just take out these two. Hopefully they pop right out, even though I had them. There you go, good. It's coming apart a lot easier. I tried this previously and it didn't go so great. So some of them actually pop out and you can put the different items on. So let's move that one over there to the side. And then it looks like the castle and everything else could hopefully pop out as well. And it looks like I'm just going to declip those two for now while I get this last piece out as well. Boom, flagpole looks amazing. And then Mario himself also had a little piece going around him, holding him together. So let's see if we can kind of grab that and uh, basically get him out of there because he's in the plastic packaging and I don't want to damage anything way too much beyond repair. Let's just try and push Mario out as best we can. And uh, Mario's not coming out, but he will. There we go. He is really stuck in there, but that's all right. So there's Mario. He's very, very small. I'll get to the size in a minute. And I should get out some of these, but it looks like these ones are actually just covered with tape, which is a little bit frustrating, but I'm sure I can get this out in a reasonable amount of time as well. I should have done this previously. I apologize, but hopefully this tape isn't too long. Oh, it's right across the top like that. Okay, so let's get these out. There's one. There's two. And these are uh, really, really small, basically cardboard cards, they feel like. And the last one is that coin as we get that out. There we go. Okay, so the box packaging like that, you don't really need to see that. We'll kind of move that to the side or just let that fall because it's about to anyways. On the side it goes. Box we don't need. Let's look at the cool stuff. So first things first, let's look at Mario, because Mario is relatively very small. So this thing is probably only three quarters of an inch tall. There is many other figurines in the set, and I will show you a few of the other ones in other packaging as well. And you can buy these little guys on their own. This one is why there's probably a choking hazard in the ages three and up, because it is such a small little figurine. So let's put that guy right there for now. Move that over a bit more. Out of shot. 
And we might as well start with the beginning. I mean, it really depends what you want to start with in your own world. Some of these are already connected together. And essentially, you have every piece is like a puzzle piece, but they all fit together really easily and really well. So there you go. Those two fit together. You could also put it, switch them around. You could also put it behind or in front. Like it said, there's an unlimited number of ways to play. So the first piece here is three blocks. You obviously have a coin block in the middle there. And that's where you can actually put these little interchangeable things to actually get power up so you can put that right in there and it kind of just pops back out if you would like it to do so like that which looks pretty awesome so i'm probably going to leave that so you have your choice of using that uh item which is pretty awesome that's the acorn suit or whatever you want to call it that micro no that one turns you into um yeah, Squirrel Mario, basically. Then there's a Fire Flower, there's a Coin, and there's also a 1-Up for you to choose from, and you can put these throughout the stages. So that's the first piece. The second piece that we're looking at is this little slider of a shell that goes on. You can put it all the way to the left, and then you can actually load it, and then when you hit the button, it kind of launches off to the side. I guess it could hit Mario right out of the way if you would like. Might as well put those first two pieces together. The third piece that I have here that I will just disengage from the other one is a piranha plant and this one has on the back of it you can actually move the piranha plant up and down and that looks pretty awesome actually his uh it looks like these on the piranha plant the leaves actually move as well so you can go straight ahead which looks pretty cool or you can go from the side it's your choice which way you would want to do it i'm going to put it like that for now so we don't really see that little slider it's kind of hidden then you have one with two mushrooms. Now these mushrooms are connected on the bottom so you can't really just pull them apart very easily. So there's two mushrooms right there. You can put them in any way you want. I think that looks... Let's turn it around this way actually. Sure, let's go that way. And probably my favorite piece in this is the flagpole. Now the flagpole can actually be turned around the other way to be, show a Bowser, or you can show the Mario clearing stage, and it has the gold top on it as well, and this is connected. If you're wondering what it says on the bottom of each piece, it does say 2004 trademark Nintendo, Jack Specific, Incorporated, all rights reserved made in China. So yes, this set is made in China like everything else these days. So you can build these a number of different ways. I put five in a row as a line here. Of course, you could choose to do that entirely differently if you would like, and you could do something like this, or maybe it's a little bit closer. That provides more of a 3D effect, I think, to this kind of design. And then you can use Mario to kind of go through the stage as you would like. Maybe if he's here and you load that thing for the shell. You can launch the shell across and actually hit him down. As long as Mario actually stands. I haven't stood him up yet. He keeps falling over, so let's try this a little bit better. There we go. So you can hit him down a little bit, he gets hit. You can also have the Prana Plant come up and down as ever you wish. So maybe Mario is on here, and then he gets eaten by the Prana Plant as it comes up. Whoa! Whoa! And then he gets hit. And then obviously you can jump all the way to the top and reach the flagpole and set Mario up there. So this is a neat little set. What I was thinking when I bought this was essentially if it's $20 with tax, how much would I be willing to pay for each of these one little squares if I happen to find them, say for example, at a swap meet or if I was at a flea market, how much would one of those be worth to me? And I kind of got thinking, I mean, yeah, I mean, you could might be able to find this for a dollar eventually, but to find this in really good condition in the future, I'd probably be willing to spend about $3 for this piece just because it is Nintendo licensed, as I said. So $3 a piece times five is roughly $15. It is brand new, so tag on a little bit more than that. And you do get a little Mario figurine. So I thought that's a fair price. If you're buying these now, I would not try and find them on eBay yet. I would try and find them in person because I think it's worth it to actually buy it brand new. And you're probably gonna save some money because eBay goes up, right away it goes up in price, which is a little bit crazy. I'm gonna leave Mario up there. I don't wanna show the Bowser one all that much. If you turn it around, obviously, the set still looks pretty much the exact same. So you can turn it around, and what's fun with that for kids, I think, is that this can be played with from any angle. Really, a lot of people could gather around a table, or a lot of kids could gather around a table and have a lot of fun with Mario and play this set together, which is quite neat and unique. Now, there's a lot of other entries into this series that you can get, and there's some expansion packs just for Acorn Planes specifically. There is this one, which is the Mario plus Acorn Planes. So this one actually has just two different new pieces because you see the mushrooms there. They look the exact same as the ones there, but you do have a Monty Mole coming out and then another pipe that's yellow with a Mario that's normal. And I'm not gonna unbox this one. I'm gonna keep that sealed. And then the other one that comes here, you do have the same blocks that looks like it's the same as that. 
And then you also have a different one with a little location inside with a pipe on top that looks pretty awesome. And then a third, this one's new as well, that you actually have a Goomba on it, and there's again a switch that you can actually go down. This one's called Flying Squirrel Mario plus Acorn Planes. So it looks like there are two expansion packs to it. There are not anything else that I have seen. Maybe there is one more, but I have not seen it. And in total, that means I think there is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I believe there are nine different squares for you to get to actually complete this set if you were looking to do so, to have everything if you were interested in completing your Acorn Plane set. Thank you very much for watching this video. Let me know, do you think this is worth it for roughly $20 for that? If you're wondering about the smaller sets, they were $12.99, so there are $13 and you only get three of those, so I thought getting the bigger one was definitely worth it. But I picked up all of them to complete this set. So let me know, do you think it's worth it at those prices? Is this something that you would be looking to buy for yourself or for your kids or to give away as a Christmas gift coming up this year? Please stay tuned, I will eventually bring you the next set, the Layer Cake Desert, in another video in the future. Feel free to fill that like bucket, follow me on all the social media links in the description below the video. I do have Instagram and I am on Facebook, and I do stream on Twitch occasionally as well. Make sure you also always remember to go collect them all, and just keep smiling while gaming. Have a great day everyone!